Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and today I'm going to show you how to do a nozzle swap on the Flash Forge Adventure 5M or 5M Pro. Now, it's a really simple procedure, really. All you have to do is hold down these two red tabs that's on the print head, and with a little bit of force, pull the nozzle straight out. And when you're ready to put a new nozzle in, just stick it back up through that same hole. Except this time, you don't have to press on the red tabs. Just push it on up there, and it'll snap into place. Easy peasy. But what the official videos don't tell you is what happens if you already have filament inside of that nozzle. So I've got two nozzles here. And on the first nozzle, I cut the filament off from the tube. And then I ran the filament loading procedure to try to purge whatever filament was left over. And when I took the nozzle off, I saw that there was still a bit of white filament still left in the tube. For the second nozzle, after I cut the filament off from the tube, I didn't try to run any filament filament loading procedure. I just pulled it straight out. So I'm going to take the first nozzle here and simply reinstall it back into the print head. Then I'm going to grab the filament that I want to use, put it on the spool holder and run the filament up through the PTFE tube so that it's sticking out from the other side. Then from the main menu, I'm going to go to the filament icon, press that, select the filament type that I'm going to use and press on the start button to begin. The hot end is going to heat up to its maximum temperature, and once it reaches it, you're going to start to hear some gears spinning around inside of the print head. At that point, get yourself that filament that you've already loaded up. Make sure you got a nice firm grip on it and gently push it down into that top hole on top of the print head. And you'll see that even though you still have some filament left over in that nozzle, it's still going to accept the new filament and it's going to push that old filament out. And it's also going to purge some of the new filament as well. So filament being left over in the nozzle is not a problem. So if you find yourself with a strand of filament in your nozzle, all you have to do is just cut it off at the base so that there's little as possible that's being exposed and just swap it as normal. And when you put the new filament in, everything is going to go down nice and smooth. So that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to see more videos about the Flash Forge Adventure 5M, be sure to check the description for a playlist where I've included all of the videos that I made about this printer, as well as any other videos that I make about it in the future. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.